New games were revealed at the latest State of Play, Infinity Nikki hosted a gameplay showcase, and the Autumn Awakening update has arrived for Palea. All this and more today. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, bringing you the latest gaming news with Sunny Side Up. Today is September 30th, 2024, so let's get started with our first major headline. Sony hosted their latest state of play, which focused on updates about upcoming PS5 games. While plenty of new trailers and announcements were shared, the coziest highlight for me was the exciting news that Astrobot, the recently released action-adventure platformer, will be receiving a free DLC sometime in the fall of this year. The free DLC will feature 5 new online speedrun levels, along with 10 new bots to rescue. It is also likely that new special items for these bots will be added to the in-game gacha machine found within the hub world. Astrobot's super-sized space adventure was already Already incredible, but now it just keeps getting better. For all my variety gamers, I have to also mention the biggest announcement of the show, which is that the sequel to Ghost of Tsushima was revealed. The new game will be titled Ghost of Yote and will be starring a new protagonist named Atsu. The story is set in the year 1603 in the land surrounding Mount Yote, an area filled with sprawling grasslands, snowy tundras, and unexpected dangers. Ghost of Yote will be coming to PS5 sometime in 2025, and it looks like it's going to be another incredible title from the team at Sucker Punch. On the topic of PlayStation, Faye Farm announced the game is coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the Windows Store on October 22nd, at which time more players can discover the wonderful world of Azoria. This announcement was accompanied by a lovely new trailer, plus some information about the different editions that will be available. The standard edition will offer the full game, including all free content updates that have been released to date. There will also be a deluxe edition that will include both the Coast of Crokia and Skies of Azoria DLCs. You can already pre-order either edition on the PlayStation Store, however, it is worth noting that the Nintendo Switch version did get a physical edition, so if owning physical games is really important to you, perhaps consider holding off just to see if they also release a physical edition for PlayStation. Also, Fae Farm will offer full crossplay with existing PC and Nintendo Switch editions. Although we haven't received any update yet on the future of console updates for Coral Island, the team did share a preview of some new items arriving to the game in upcoming hotfixes. This includes a huge assortment of flooring and wallpapers, adding much more variety to the current lineup. They also noted that there would be much more to look forward to in these hotfixes, so I'm excited to see what they have in store. Further, the team shared a fan art contest where players can submit a design of their farmer and a Coral Island NPC wearing a graphic t-shirt with a unique design. Three winners will be selected, whose t-shirt designs will be added to the game itself. So if you're interested in entering, you'll have until October 7th to do so. Cozy Caravan released a mini update to the game, adding some of the most highly requested dogs as new playable friends. The Shiba Inu, Border Collie, Blue Healer, German Shepherd, Corgi, and Samoid have now been added, plus four color variants of wolves. The team further shared that while they would love to include every single breed of dog, this is what they are starting with, but that there will be more to come in the future. Of course, this update also included the usual polishing and bug fixes, and the team teased that they are still hard at work on some awesome new content coming soon. Now it's time for our next major headline. Infold Games shared plenty of new information about Infinity Nikki, the coziest upcoming open world game. First up, a brand new trailer was posted in anticipation of the Reunion playtest, which is taking place from October 8th. If you're interested in trying out the game during this time ahead of its release, you'll need to apply in advance for a chance to be accepted. This new trailer shared many beautiful glimpses into the world of Stoneville, and most notably featured almost exclusively in-engine gameplay. This is especially important to acknowledge because previous trailers have incorporated a large amount of cinematics. However, it's amazing to see that the game 
gameplay looks incredibly stunning and polished, and honestly, not so far off from those captivating cinematics. But that's not all. A special program was hosted for Infinity Nikki at the Tokyo Game Show by Neki Matsuzawa and Kintaro Taminaga, the game's subdirector who previously was the director for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This presentation included several gameplay montages showcasing a variety of features, settings, mechanics, and more. Plus, we were treated to live gameplay with Taminaga himself showing us the ropes of Infinity Nikki. This presentation offered an incredible deep dive into much of what the game will have to offer, and I will be discussing it further with more detail in an upcoming dedicated video, so stay tuned. My time at Evershine's Kickstarter has already been a resounding success, raising over 1.4 million US dollars within the first five days of the campaign, meaning it is already well beyond funded. This level of support has unlocked a series of stretch goals, which are new features that will be added to the game's development. This includes in-game backer t-shirts, a flirting feature, a bathtub feature, a player-voted interaction, a player-voted NPC from Portia or Sandrock arriving to Evershine with their own storyline, a swimming feature, a hot spring date, a new special pet, new photo poses, Logan visiting Evershine, and adjustable character height. There are also additional stretch goals available for future funding, so we'll have to stay tuned to see what else will be added to the game. The Kickstarter campaign was also accompanied by a shiny new trailer, revealing more of what players might be able to expect for the game in the future. Fritter Cafe, the upcoming simulation game that was announced at this summer's Wholesome Direct, also shared a new trailer, which showcased how you can customize your character, design and manage your cafe, solve puzzles, rescue creatures, and explore the colorful world. It was also revealed that the game will be releasing this year on November 26th on PC via Steam and for the Nintendo Switch. Plus, if you'd like to try out the game ahead of its release, Critter Cafe will be participating in October's Steam Next Fest, with a free demo being available to play on Steam from October 14th until October 21st. Rekka, the atmospheric witchy cottage building game that recently released into early access, shared a roadmap for the game's development plans. The first minor update is planned for October, featuring a witching hour themed content drop and new furniture items. This is to be followed by another minor update later in the year, which will offer a crafting themed content drop. In early 2025, the first major update is planned to arrive, featuring expansion to the main story and more. Of course, all along the way, the team will prioritize bug fixes, stability, and optimization. Also, keep in mind that this is subject to change, especially depending on player feedback. So far, this looks excellent, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how the game evolves. Now it's time for our final major headline. Helia released their latest update for the game called Autumn Awakening, which most prominently featured the return of the Magi Market. This new edition of the market features a new Balloon Pop mini game, new mini quests, a fresh stamp card to complete, secret market discoveries, plus new and returning items to shop with the exclusive market currency. There was also the return of the Choppa Chase, a Choppa Popsicle emote, and Zeki's Claw Machine, where tokens can be earned by shopping from the market's vendors. There are lots of activities to enjoy and items to collect, but luckily the market will now be returning on a monthly basis. September's market does come to a close today on the 30th at 11.59pm PT, however it will return just around the corner on October 8th, and then again every four weeks following. Outside of the Magi Market, Autumn is in full swing in Palea, with all new foliage to enjoy. The Spooky Moon Shop is also back, outside of Zeki's general store, where you can purchase spooky and fall-themed decor items, so go stock up on floating candles and pumpkins while they're here. Two new premium outfits were added, plus a tool skin that turns your arrows and axe into a sword. Also, don't forget to log in before October 8th at 10am PT to claim one free potato pod to add to your ever-growing collection. Collection. Coming up this week, Let Your Frontiers Neighbors and Animals update is out today on PC via Steam and Game Pass featuring new NPCs, the ability to create mutated crops, hatchable eggs, animal accessories, and more. This is the game's first major content update since its release into early access, and it appears that this will add even more life to the game. Moonstone Island's festival update is also out today for the Nintendo Switch and PC, which brings three new festivals to the Moonstone 
calendar, along with four new spirits, new crafting stations, and more. This is launching alongside the mini cosmetic DLC, which features autumnal accessories. Also, a friendly reminder that we are in the final days for completing Disney Dreamlight Valley's Dapper Delights Star Path, which will be ending on October 2nd. So be sure to complete your tasks ahead of then. But what will you be playing this week and what new announcements are you most excited for? Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Please make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on for weekly episodes of Sunny Side Up shine that lovely like button to help support the series and with all that being said thank you so much for watching i love you all and until next time take care